everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this, I'm calling it a pop box, purely because I don't know what else to call it. Um, it is an explosion box of sorts, but if you put explosion on your title on your YouTube video, it gets flagged and it has a very, very limited audience. I'm going to call it a pop box but it does have this explosion look about it. Now, again, my mum sent me a link and apparently, I've seen it now, but it was um, in the new Kit Kat advert in the UK um, to do with some kind of time traveling and the guy opens up a box and it's something similar to this. So by just seeing an advert, this is my um, kind of version. So you just undo the ribbon or you may not choose to put ribbon on it. And then when you lift this off, this bit just opens out. And this is that kind of explosion. It's very, very similar, the base concept to an explosion box. Um, so you can just fill it with treats and that's what, it's filled with Kit Kats. And when he lifts this off, it pops open like this. It's exactly the same shape, everything. I'm probably not too far off the size either. It takes two pieces of, well, it's just smaller than 12 by 12. Um, but it's just a really nice box so you could just have it like that and decorate it with flowers you could have a nice sentiment here if you want but it is a really really fun box and you can see inside there as well it's a really clean finish um, yeah so I racked my brain and um, I'm pretty pleased with this one that I've come up with it so yeah here we go let's crack on so um, I am using those papers, um, this one here is all the same as these ones that I'm using today and it's from the Beyond the Shore, which is the first edition 12x12 paper pack. I've used this on numerous um, projects now and again I'm using this one which I made the clutch bag from a few, um, a couple of months back now. So I'm using that one and then I've just got my own um, purple, kind of purpley, well yeah it is I guess, violet colour. So I've made two templates here because um, there's a lot of scoring. It's easy, but there is a lot of scoring. But I'm going to photo these two templates and put them up on my blog just so that you can kind of um, revert to these just to check that you are where you need to be. So all you need for this is a ruler and pencil. We're not going to be using the scoreboard. Um, and this is how I have found it the easiest to do. So... Um, I think I'm I think I'm there. I don't know why I've got these round a bit. You don't need them. <laughs> it's literally just two pieces. So for the lid, this is the smallest piece here. You need a piece of um, paper or card, strong paper, um, 10 and 1 8 of an inch by 8 and 5 8 of an inch. This is our lid. So it's that that 1 8 of an inch and that extra 1 8 over the 8 and a half there just allows it to sit over the base. OK, so get that ready for the lid and then for the base you need a piece which I've got here which is 12 by 10 and a half and it's the base that we're going to start with first of all. So, what we want to do first of all is come in from the top along the 12 inch side and put a little pencil mark at three and a half okay then again from this side here put a pencil mark at three and a half then along the bottom, you want to do exactly the same. And then from this side, so one, two, three and a half, so that's eight and a half, okay? And then you're gonna do the same on the sides. So again, three and a half, and one, two, three and a half. And again at this end, so on all four sides. Then we're gonna be rubbing all these pencil marks out, so you don't wanna be heavy with them, but now with a, with a um, with a, a light pencil line, you want to join up each opposite um, little marker. So I'm using my grid underneath here as well. So that's that one. By getting this these straight lines in place, it allows us to be able to create the next set of lines. Um, this is 12 inch ruler and it's a 12 inch line, so it just marries up. And again, like so. Now, you don't want to do this on the scoreboard. We're not scoring these lines. These are here as a guide for where we do our next um, score line. So the lines that we do next will be scored, but these are just going to be rubbed out. So that's why you don't want to, you know, um, do them. Don't press down too hard. So now again, with the template here, 
we now need to create these lines inside these. So we've just done these pencil lines here across these straight ones. We need to create these ones here. Okay, now we're going to score this square in the middle. Okay, and we're going to score these. But to get that square in the middle, you needed to do this. So that's why we've got those pencil lines. So next what we want to do is in every one of these squares here, we want to put another little marker at one inch coming in. So there's one inch there and one inch there. And that's what this is. That's that square that we've done, the, the pencil, the straight line. This coming in here is one inch. So that's what I've just done. And then, well, yeah, we don't want to do, we want to score, we don't want to do any unnecessary pencil marks. So then again here, one inch, one inch, and again, one, one, and. So now we don't need to do any more pencil marks. Now we can just grab our stylus. So I'm gonna use this one here. And I'm gonna use my metal ruler now. And first of all, we'll start with these corner squares. So what you want to do is score from the corner Okay, we'll start from, so basically we're going to score from this mark here to the corner. Okay, so from there to there, which is from here to the corner. We're going to cut this out later. So I'll just go around again and do this and then show you once it's done. Okay, so I've just gone and scored, and you can see the score line there. You can see another one there, here, in all of those four corners. Okay. Then, we now, where we've done these little markers that come in one inch, we're going to score from that marker to that point. So we're joining the top of these previous score lines that we've just done. Okay, so again, make sure you really ingrain these score lines because these are our main ones as if we were using a scoreboard. Like so. And you just want to go around and do that in every of these squares on the outside, just bringing them to meet up with each other. So you'll have three score lines all joining up to the same corner in every corner. So just show you there, you've got that score line here meets there, you've got the one through the middle of the square and then you've got it starting again here. So there's three score lines and you'll want that in every one of these corners here. So you can see those score lines kind of coming together and they will resemble this now. But imagine you've got the corner still here. This is the pencil mark, but in terms of score lines, there's this score line, this score line, and this score line, and then this pencil mark and this pencil mark. So again, pencil mark, pencil mark, and then score line, score line, score line. Okay, so now we can rub the pencil marks out you don't need those anymore oh before I do that one I've got to just score the square in the middle so now you're just joining up where those three um, score lines all meet that's the corner of this middle box so we just literally want to join those up and this will form the base of our pop box okay so you can just see it catching in the light there there i've scored that square in the middle so now just carry on and get rid of all those pencil marks okay so that's all my score lines gone just going to get rid of that template now for the minute and now we can burnish everything so first of all i would because you need to pinch most of these score lines start with your very corner ones so these ones here and you just want to pinch just go around and do them first because once you start pinching the rest it will all start to come together so again and as you do them you can start to do the square in the middle and then you see this one then naturally starts to fold it doesn't really matter which way as long as you can just get them burnished in some form i'm just going to push that one in now actually like so if you push them in and then they kind of start to go into the, the shape that they need to but don't worry if they go the other way whatever works best if there's a good card you're using it won't crack whatever way you fold it so and then i can do those square ones there on the bottom okay so now 
if you bring in all of these corners, I mean they won't all fit, but you can start to see it will all come up eventually. So now what you want to do is on each one of these is bring one of the corners in, okay? And then with your scissors, this is kind of just freehand, but what I would say is if you come in, let's say, mm, let me do a little test. Oh yeah, that's fine. In fact, I think that's what I, just look in here. It's about one, yeah, no. So come in one inch. Okay, you can see, so from one inch and then cut down on an angle and that's what you'll have. So you want to create a side, which that still does, because you don't want anything falling out, but you don't want all the bulk inside. Inside? Inside. <laughs> so again, let me show you, if we come to this one here, so again, one inch, so I'm just going to put my finger and my thumb there, start off with the scissors and then just go down straight, so you're cutting out another kind of triangle, and you can see there I've got similar sides. Okay, so again, show you again, roughly with my ruler, as long as you go straight, you want to go straight down because you're removing it, you don't want to go on an angle, you want to remove all that bulkiness, and again that last one. Like so. So now, you will have something that should resemble that shape and that is roughly the same as my template so I didn't think I'd done too bad there yeah yeah well I guess if you've got that it is isn't it one inch it's like where the pencil mark was if you imagine these were originally our pencil marks I guess you're kind of cutting in from that so that is the shape that you want and now I bring all that up that is your top half your base of your explosion box. So now with this, because the colours will match, this is the lid from the one before, it will just sit nicely over the top. And it's really flush as well. So I'm pleased with that, that it works, and it does explode out even more. So what I would do is just pinch them, don't burnish them any more than they need to, because you want it to explode, you want it to pop open like that. If you burnish them really heavily, which I probably did maybe two yeah I think I did because they're kind of shiny so that's a lesson there so don't don't burnish these just pinch them like we did and leave it because it will it will hold it in place obviously like so and we're going to pop ribbon around that or I mean it's lifting up a bit now so maybe that's why I burnished it but it stayed down just now but play around I mean if you want it to be quite tight anyway then do so you may want to glue this and actually stick it together because even stuck together you can fit everything inside can still fit your bits and pieces in so you might want to keep that all together so you can you know there's a few ways anyway that's the base done now let's pop on with the lid so that's the template and this is what I've got here now this is what I'm going to have on the front of my lid so I'm going to flip over and do the pencil marks on this side because then if they don't rub out too well it's not the end of the world because it's not most of it will be cut away and not seen anyway so this is a very very similar process but in, we're kind of doing things opposite so with the one inch um, little markers that we done coming in with this time they're going to go out because this needs to sit over the shape so sorry chatting away to myself there so again with your ruler we're going to create that crisscross effect so three and a half um, and put a little marker and you want to do that on all four sides three Okay, so I've done all my little pencil marks. Now you just want to join them up. So again, I'm just using my grid mat underneath. And again, just lightly. And this is so we can get that square in the middle, which will form this time the top of our lid. So it will be a smaller square um, rectangle. It'll be this size that you will have in the middle. So that's those two. And then again, make sure that's all nicely lined up. So now, this is quite dark, you can make it out. I can't pick it up for some reason. You can see now we've got this smaller rectangle and that's good because that's now gonna be this bit here. So now we've done that. So now we wanna do the one inch, so just bringing it in here. So we've just done these pencil lines here and here and created this area. Now we wanna do one inch going out from each of these pencil lines. So. Before we went inside the box, this time we're going outside of it. So one inch, one inch, and just bring that up. 
So here's the square, you're doing the one inch from that side and then you're coming out to that side. So again, I'll show you here, and one inch, and again there, and just do that on the other two sides. Okay, so I've done all those markers. Now um, we're going to score those, so don't use your pencil. So that is everything now with the pencil, we don't need to do any more. Grab your stylus and starting from the corner, you want to come all the way up, I'm going to use my metal ruler again, up to that corner of the middle rectangle. So you can see there, so these are the pencil marks. Then you've got these four squares on each corner from the very tip there up to the corner of this inner rectangle. So again, go around to the next one. So this is all kind of the same now um, as to what we did with the base. And that last one. So I hope this is all, I hope I'm <laughs> teaching this clearly enough. There you go, can you see that's what you should have. Then we can then do, so we've got the little one inch markers that you've done coming away from the this main box. Again, you want to join them up to that same point. And again, you'll have three score lines all meeting to that same, but this time the three of them are all within this corner square. Whereas before you had one here and one here and one in the middle. This time they're all together. You can see there in that corner. So again, I'm just gonna go around and do that on the others. Okay, so you can see now I've got my three scored lines within that pencil square. Then you just want to score the middle rectangle and join up all four of those corners. Okay, so that's all done. Once again now, just go around and rub out all of those pencil lines. Okay, you can actually see the rubber is rubbed. It almost looks like it's rubbed the image. I think it's just a bit dusty on top. It doesn't matter because this is inside. So now you want to do the same again. So this time I'm going to fold it this way because I can see that they've come through on this side. So because this is the front. So I'm just doing the middle square first. And again, remember not to burnish it with the bone folder. Just do it with your finger and your thumb. So those fold like that. And then this one you want to fold inside like so. Okay, and then just pinch that and again. And if you've scored them like deep enough, this should all fall into place quite easily. Okay, so now you can see the lid coming together. Now we've got all this sticking out. So what you want to do now is similar to before but we're going to be gluing this, so you don't need to cut away as much um, at the beginning. Let me just find my scissors, there we go. So what you want to do here, again, is trying to get as close to the corner. You can kind of bend it out a little bit, get as close to the corner as possible, and then just cut up, okay? So you want to have that there, you don't want to have any overhang, because we're going to then glue all this together, and then we're going to cut away again even more. So again, I'll do this one here. Get your scissors in right to the the join here okay and then cut in like so don't worry if they're not all exact because um like i said we are going to cut away even more it's just you need that amount really to, to glue it together and again that last one like so okay and just make sure when you go round that you're getting a nice um, join there. If one's longer than the other then you need to go back and look at your, your score lines because once this is over the top you need it to all be flush so that it sits flush on your base. Okay so now that's all done I'm going to grab my wet glue, flip it over and just apply it on one side of I guess it's kind of like a triangle shape um, like so okay and then just pop it together and if you go inside and put it on one you know bend it to one side you can actually then push it down on your mat and just make sure if you get anything kind of coming out and then grab your bone folder and just make sure you get that glue right up to the edge there 
and right down to the corner. Because what we'll do, once this is all dry, we're going to cut right up here, just leaving a very thin um, strip. Okay, so you can see now that one all stuck down. So you want to go around and do that on all four corners. Okay, so that's now all stuck down. So grab your base and it should neatly completely fit over the top and be completely flush because this is exactly three and a half. This is three and a half, so it all matches in perfectly. So now if you want to keep it like that, you could put a little fastening here if you wanted to with some Velcro. You could do the stick them on the bottom, have them coming up the side and have the Velcro here if you wanted to seal it that way. If you burnish these sides, it will stay in its shape and this won't lift off on its own. So if you look at the one I've done before where I burnished it, that doesn't move, that stays in place. So if you wanna keep it like this and just decorate on the top with flowers, you can. Um, but I like the bounce of it. I like that it's gonna kind of lift and, and have that explosion look. So again, when I open that, you see it does all really pop out, which is good. So I'm gonna keep that like that. I'm not gonna burnish it too much. I wanna leave it and I'm gonna grab this ribbon and start from the top. There we go, that's not too bad. <laughs> I got there in the end. But there you have it. I think that's really, really cute. So there's my two designs. I'm calling it a pop box just so that it doesn't get flagged on YouTube, but it is an explosion box of sorts. I will share the video of the Kit Kat one so you can see it, so you can just get an idea of exactly what it is that I'm on about. Mum, I hope you like it, I hope you can make it, and I wanna see your version. And as always, I like to see all your versions too, guys. Um, you know I love seeing your projects, your pictures. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.